If you think the Starship belly flop was the craziest thing SpaceX ever attempted, just wait, because what's coming next makes that iconic S8 fall look simple. We're witnessing the birth of something far bigger, a complete evolution in how the world's largest spacecraft slows down from hypersonic speeds. Starship isn't just a rocket, it's a 394-foot-tall system designed to survive re-entry at nearly Mach 25, wrapped in 18,000-plus heat shield tiles. And that traumatic sideways belly flop wasn't for style, it was physics. By spreading drag across a 9-meter-wide stainless steel body, Starship creates the biggest air brake humans have ever built. But here's the part everyone misses. The belly flop was only version 1.0. The new era is all about controlled lift. In the last few test flights, Starship didn't fall straight down. It banked. Yes, banked like a lifting body aircraft. Even a 5 to 10% lift vector at hypersonic speed lets Starship steer hundreds of miles across Earth, reducing peak heating by double-digit percentages. That's a huge deal at 3,000 degree Fahrenheit plasma temperatures. Then comes the evolution almost nobody talks about, the partial angle of attack tilt. Instead of lying perfectly flat, Starship subtly pitches the nose upward during re-entry. We're talking 10 to 20 degrees of controlled tilt. That tiny change can shift plasma flow away from tile seams and reduce thermal stress by thousands of pounds. For lunar and Mars returns, this maneuver could be absolutely mission-saving. But the real wild card? a future technique called the cross-body slip. Imagine Starship intentionally yawing sideways just a few degrees, creating massive drag like a fighter jet performing a high alpha slip. Aerodynamic models suggest this could cut required landing burn propellant by 10 to 15%, giving SpaceX more margin for cargo, crew, or even emergency corrections. If SpaceX actually pulls this off, it would redefine atmospheric entry forever. No wings, no giant aeroshell, just pure aerodynamic control on a 165-foot steel spacecraft. And here's the crazy part. We've only seen a tiny fraction of what Starship's braking system will do. The full evolution is still ahead, and it's going to change how we land on Earth, the Moon, and Mars. If this blew your mind even a little, you need to watch the full deep dive video on my channel. It breaks down every braking mode with visual examples, numbers, and what SpaceX is hiding in future iterations. Before you go, give this short a like. It helps rocketry reach more space fans. And hit subscribe so you don't miss the long video.